It's Mushroom and Mushroom's Toy Box. And look what we have here. This is the 2015, that's right, 2015 B case. Uh, it is a worldwide series. Um, so, this is going to be missing a couple of the, the mainline releases that you may have read about. However, um, for the most part, the rest of the car should be uh, correct. So, we're going to do a quick little unboxing video. I just got this from uh, my uh, Place Best Costume and Toy Deals. As you can see, it has this uh, seal of, uh, I guess, authenticity or... Um, I don't know, even though it is double taped, because I do see it double taped. But, uh, supposedly, this is sealed at the factory, and it is not tampered with. Um, so, here we go. Let's, let's, uh, unbox this thing, and, or, um, crack it open, and see what we got. Now, I haven't really been paying attention to the new stuff that's, uh, supposedly coming out. I know there's a lot of videos on on here that have been using uh, T Hunted Blogspot's pictures as like teaser videos, but this is an actual unboxing video. So that's let's uh, see what we got. Um, if you if you guys are wondering why I didn't do an A case, um, only because I just didn't get it in time and it's uh, pretty much sold out. So here we go with the B case. Let's go with the first car that I see right now, which is awesome. And that is correct. It is the James Bond, the spy who loved me. Come on, focus on this. Focus, focus, focus. There we go. The Lotus Esprit S1. This is super cool, as you can see. There we go. It is uh, beautiful. It has black uh, interior, white base. Check that out. Tail lights and license plate. I wonder if that's the license plate that was on the James Bond movie car. I wouldn't be surprised if it is because they're, they made this out to be the 007 Spy Who Loved Me car. Very cool. And it's part of the HW Garage series, so that's awesome. Um, here we have uh, something part of the Hot Wheels Showdown. Where I guess uh, you can scan and start a race with various different cars. Uh, this is the Bad Ratitude. But, you know, we don't, we don't really care about those. Um, here we go. Let's see what else we got. We have our Snoopy car again. And check it out, the new wheels. That's pretty cool. Sorry. Um, if you're wondering why I'm using my cell phone, this is my cell phone with my uh, little uh, paper cup stand. Um, it's because I uh, didn't bring any cameras with me to work today, so Sorry if it's taking a little bit to focus There it is cool wheels very cool. I like these wheels better Maximum leeway in a uh, purple with glow uh, glow in the dark wheels this is part of the Nightstorm series Yeah, we are. okay, let's see what else we got got another one of those All right, we have the mad manga um, this one's kind of cool in orange as you can see part of the art car series um, because there's art I guess uh, tampos on top I, I don't I don't really know uh, MIG rig and oh cool so this is a MIG rig we've already seen that in blue and white this is the brand new Lamborghini I think it's um, Uris 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 and it's pretty awesome. Um, it's like part Lamborghini S and SUV mashed into one. Can only imagine what the stats are. I'll have to look that up on uh, online. Here's another Snoopy car. Never can get too tired of those. We have an off track. Um, I think I did a uh, extreme. No, that was a different truck. Then we have, oh, very cool. Check this out. We have Batman, Batman's Batmobile. And this is from the Michael Keaton, if I'm correct, the Michael Keaton Batman, which is the best Batman ever in the history of Batman in movies. Um, it's done in a black and red tempo or black color 
with red tempo. It is a plastic body, but it is a metal base, so it does have a little bit of weight to it. Very, very cool. We got uh, two more MR1, MR11s. It looks like the one that was its release car with that one football player. Still has a soccer ball wheel wells. Um, and it's one of those showdown cars. So. Let's see, what else do we have? The RD02. Um, hmm. RD02. Uh, yeah, I don't, I, don't, I don't know about those. And we got another Lotus Esprit, James Bond car. Very cool. Um, this time we have the 2010 Ford Shelby GT with the K&N Tampos all over it. Very, very cool. Um, I really like it. No tail lights, sadly. Very, very cool. We have the Porsche Panamera. You know, all right. Hey, <laughs> yeah, whatever. Okay, and then we have a Plymouth AR Cuda. Uh, 1970 and uh, that really cool iridescent purple so that's awesome the Canyon Carver but this time it's a police branded one oh cool we have the bread box with uh, the different colored wheels I, why I have no idea this is part of the art car series so that's cool right, what else do we have we have the yellow, yellow Scion XB, X Racers, I think it is, or maybe X Racers, yeah, X Racers. That's kind of cool. I mean, you know, it looks pretty cool. Then we have the Datsun 240Z, redid with uh, some awesome tempos. This is part of the Then and Now series. I wonder what the Now looks like, but it's very, very cool. Ah, the Cockney Cab 2. City Works. It has the British flag and it's a taxi. That's pretty pretty cool. I'm sure a lot of customers will have fun with that. So, And then we have the 1986 Monte Carlo SS. Very cool. Um, part of the Muscle Mania series, which I like. One of my favorites. Another XB Scion. We have the uh, HW450F dirt bike. The Corvette Stingray returns in blue. There's no change on this, not even a color variation. So that's uh, whatever. The Roadster in a deep metallic blue with Hot Wheels Tampos. Another uh, Corvette Stingray. And then we have the Ford Shelby GR1 concept, which I really like. I really like this casting. However, um, do you see any similarities? No, not really. Not really any similarities, but that's very cool. So if we had a treasure hunt in here, I missed it, and it's in there somewhere. So if you've, if you've seen it, call it out right now. All right, now we have a what I think is a brand new for 2015, and that is the Bull Whip. Uh, if you notice, it has two huge uh, wheels, and it has an interesting, like, top. I think it looks like it comes off. We'll have to do a quickie car on this. But it's a Hot Wheels test facility car, so that's cool. We'll have to do definitely do a uh, quickie car. We have a Super Blitzen, and look, the Super Blitzen is packaged wrong. Don't know if that's really considered an error. I mean, maybe it is, but... We have a perfect one, so. Um, what else do we have? Ah, yes. So, uh, Pooh Chef Morobi, Mr. Dizay of 380. Check this out. It's the 50 years of uh, Mopar or Hemi. 426 Hemi. This is awesome. The 69 Dodge Charger 500. Beautiful tempos. Beautiful paint job. Love this thing. I'm glad it's here. Then we have the Corvette Grand Sport Roadster. Two of those. Let's see what else we got. Um, the uh, Aston Martin DB5 in 1963 in the red, but we've already seen that color. 
We have the Jeep CJ7, and I think this is a new mod. New mo nope. Check that out. I found the treasure hunt. Yes, that is the treasure hunt. So awesome. And we have the Acura NSX concept car with tail lights. You see that? That's pretty cool. Two more Cockney uh, Cab 2s. Oh, sweet. A uh, 71 Hemi Cuda. What I don't understand is, okay, this is what I have no idea. I, I can't understand. Is it why um, Hemi, why, you know, this one has the tempo, this one doesn't? I mean, you know, I don't know. But anyways, we have the Mad Props. Very cool. Uh, two more Ryura LX. But this time in a cream, slightly metallic, weird blue. Whatever. Uh, Shark Cruiser. Let's see. The Vanster in a metallic blue with the Hot Wheels tempo. Um, Heathkin, I know you're probably eyeballing this right now. The Forward Speed. Um, yeah. So... This is kind of cool. Look at these wheels. Those are, they must be new. If they're new, uh, they're awesome. But they're very cool. I know this, this car will probably get grabbed up for wheel swaps because that's what I'd use it for. It's part of the HW Space Team. Ah, cool. Two Porsche 934 Turbo RSRs. They did this right. Um, sadly, no taillights though. Uh, but look at those massive fenders, cool temples, they even gave it headlights, but why no taillights? I have no idea. Great color, cool uh, touch with the gold wheels too. Another Vanster. Alright, we got another Snoopy car. Two bleh, nerve hammers. Don't need those. Ah, check it out. This is brand new for 2015 too, I believe. The nineteen or the Ferrari 599 GTB Fiorano. Fiorano. Very cool. No taillights though. What's up with that? This is very awesome, I gotta say. I am uh, stoked so far. Castings are awesome. Good uh good good box, I think. I, I'd like to say. Two Chevy SS's, we've already seen these that colorway we have a 2013 Hot Wheels Chevy Camaro Special Edition this is cool but I, I, I don't like the paint I mean we've been seeing this in um, metallic paints this definitely doesn't look too great in a flat regular paint job so the salt shaker I wonder if this is brand new part of this super chrome series don't know if this is brand new for whatever series but 2015. I've never seen this one before. Doesn't even look like a car. But uh, I'm not going to toss it because I think I want to do a quick car on that. And the last two of uh, this case for 2015, the B case worldwide, are the Datsun 620s in a more realistic, like I think I've, uh, I've actually seen cars that look like this uh, setting. Very cool. I love the colors. I love the tempos. Uh, even though, isn't that the German colors? <laughs> um, and I love the fact that this thing is just, just continues to be an awesome little, little car. Alright guys, there you have it, my, uh, two, my, my 2015 B-Case unboxing video. Um, I hope you like what you see. If you do, please give me... Thumbs up, like this video, and uh, subscribe if you haven't. I'm almost at 10,000. I'm like 9,300 or 9,250. So thanks again for watching and hope you like this uh, 2015 worldwide release B-Case. All right. Thanks, guys. Bye-bye.